But the Browns introduced their coordinators to the media, the new ones, Joe Woods on the defensive side of the ball, Alex Van Pelt on the offensive side of the ball. Joe Woods said he wants to play a lot of different coverages from the same look. Sounds like a good idea. Alex Van Pelt said getting Baker Mayfield's footwork straightened around is the first and foremost thing that he's going to work on with Baker Mayfield. He admits he's talked to his new quarterback, and he's excited to get going with Baker Mayfield. We've uh, touched base a few times now uh, since I was hired. Uh, I've watched the season. Uh, I've watched last year. Um, obviously watched him live in the times we played against him. Um, loved him coming out of college. Um, you know, most of the, the great quarterbacks I've had a chance to be around were extremely competitive um, to a point where they would try to beat you at darts or pool. It did not matter. And I see that in his game, and that's exciting. Obviously, he has the skill set. Uh, you know, the talent of the arm, throwing the ball on the move, you know, to, to escape pressure, all those things. Um, you know, I think the, f the future's bright. Is it one of the reasons why you were excited to take this job? And when you look at last season and see that he tumbled all the way to second last in the NFL, do you see great opportunity to, to bring him back where he needs to be? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. He's obviously a skilled player, a talented player. Like I said, I love the fire and the passion in his game. Um, you know, it's our job as, a, as an offensive staff to help him and make him successful. Everything starts around the quarterback on the offensive side of the ball. We got to put him in the best position uh, for him to have success, and that'll make us all better. Alex, when you start looking at him and the tape from last year, where does your eye go first? What are you, what are you seeing in Baker immediately? Um, I think the ability to avoid pressure, escape pressure. Um, the biggest thing that stood out probably on the tape was his accuracy on the move outside of the pocket when he had to create an escape, whether it be uh, the play action pass game where he's keeping the ball or he's breaking contain from a pass rush and then throwing the ball accurately down the field um, at all levels. When you look at it and say, hey, we can, we can fix this and get him back on track. Yeah, there's some fundamental things I've, you know, kind of targeted for him in the offseason, but that's just more football techie talk, you know, quarterback talk. But um, decision making, you know, the increase of interceptions, that'll be something that'll be a point of emphasis, making the right decisions and protecting the team and protecting the ball. Um, I tell you what, uh, just from last year, uh, playing against the guys and having a chance to look at the tape, uh, we have a talented roster. I mean, there's some some guys that are very talented on the defensive side of the ball at the right positions. So I feel like I'm really coming to a, a very fortunate situation uh, where we have some of the pieces in place. How do you get them to play together, have that success? That's going to happen through uh, meeting with those guys, you know, setting a direction for them, uh, the things that we do in practice. Uh, things I'm going to ask them to do, uh, but through that whole process, man, we'll get those guys playing together. What about the key positions and guys there? Who are you talking about? Rushers and cover guys. You know what I mean? Uh, I think our front is, is very good, is very talented. Um, it's going to be our job as coaches to get them to play uh, as good as they can to their ability level. And um, in the back end, just have uh, some young corners. And, you know, I've coached corners my whole career, the back end. But when you have some young, talented corners, man, it, that excites you. How much different is the style of defense you coach to what they played last year? I mean, really, with defenses, they're all – I mean, everybody really runs the same stuff. It's just how you do it. But everybody's going to run 3D. But everybody's going to run man, man pressure, fire zone. But I think it's about how you put the package together. Uh, I want to make sure that I give, you know, offenses a lot of the same looks but play different coverages and make them figure it out at the line of scrimmage. Uh, that's always kind of been my mindset. Um, so that's what I'm going to try to do here. In the press release, you said you were going to stick with the 4-3. Yeah. Is that mainly because it fits what, you, what you're inheriting or are you okay with the 4-3 in general? That's what the personnel here is. Um, and I've coached in, in both systems, you know, the 3-4 uh, when I was at uh, Denver and uh, the 4-3 really for most of my career. But the personnel set up to run a 4-3. I think we have the right personnel. I think it's a natural fit. And, uh, you know, for me, it's, it's, it's very easy to do. Joe Woods, the defensive coordinator. Before that, Alex Van Pelt, the offensive coordinator for the Cleveland Browns.